The initial coverage of Pope Francis's speech to Congress focused on the Pope's comments about political issues, the death penalty, abortion, climate change, and much more. But it's also clear that the Pope left a deep impression on the lawmakers personally. Perhaps no line from the Pope's speech received more applause than when he reminded his audience of the golden rule. We need to avoid a common temptation, nigh words, to discard whatever proves troublesome. Let us remember the golden rule. Do unto others as you do unto others as you will have them do unto you. The day after his visit, House Speaker John Boehner, a Catholic, announced he would resign in October. He spoke about the Pope during his first public remarks about the resignation. Uh, just yesterday, we witnessed uh, the awesome sight of uh, Pope Francis addressing uh, the greatest legislative body in the world. And I hope that uh, we will all uh, heed his call to live by the golden rule. Boehner wasn't the only member of Congress who was personally moved. In an interview with Rome Reports, Congressman Ruben Gallego said he had been excited about Pope Francis since his election was first announced. He said the speech helped him reassess. Um, it really made me uh, start looking at how, you know, not only do I treat other people when it comes to policy, but also how do I treat people, period, in my personal uh, relationship. And, you know, that challenge is something that I think that we should all, you know, remember. Uh, Gallego suggested that the Pope's message about selflessness may have led to Boehner's decision to announce his resignation. House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi is a Catholic who leads Gallego's party in the House. She praised the Pope's message, but she also said in a statement that the visit was a, quote, profound joy for my family. Some in Congress might have even felt too strong of a connection to the Pope. One Catholic member made headlines after he admitted to taking the glass the Pope drank from and drinking from it himself. 